What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a parlay for Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. Here at Pitch, I'll drop the most repeat videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like, it helps us out a lot. All right, man, currently recording this Tuesday, October 10th at 2.38 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm watching this Astros-Twins game. First leg of our parlay today was Christian Javier over four and a half strikeouts. He already has three strikeouts at the end of the first. He struck out the side, so I'm pumped on that. Two more, Christian. Give us two more. And then all we need is Liberty Moneyline and our boy Corey Seager to get a hit. So I feel good about this parlay. I hopefully I just didn't just I hopefully I didn't just jinx it, but uh I feel good, baby. It's 2.30 and our parlay's already looking kind of good, so I'm feeling good. Uh, but this parlay today, we got hockey. We got hockey, baby. Look, am I the sharpest hockey better? Um, no. If you want to see a sharp uh, hockey better, go to uh, watch Chris Ruflo's videos. That boy knows his hockey. But I, I dabble. I know some hockey, and especially these early season matchups. I feel like I got some. Uh, I got some winners here. Are the picks square? Oh, you you know damn well they're square. You you guys know how I pick these parlays. But uh, as long as we win, it's all good. And I got a college football play as well. So let's get right into it, man. Let's start with the college football, uh, man. And I'm telling you, I love these early week college football games. Having co football every single day is incredible. It is absolutely incredible, man. I I'm, I am grateful for that. So uh, let's get into it. First game. Uh, looking at this match, looking at this match between FIU versus UTEP. Um, on paper, you may think, "Wow, this is a crappy game." But from a betting perspective, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to take FIU on the money line. UTEP is awful. UTEP is a bad program. This team has given up. It seems like uh, they've lost four straight games. They're 0 and 4 ATS in those four games. Uh, they haven't covered a game on the road yet. Um, so I, I'm, I'm loving FI, FIU here, um, especially at home. They're only minus two points. Uh, we're taking them on the money line just in case. One thing, though, which is maybe why this line is a little low. Um, this line is a little fishy. I'm not going to lie. I feel like FIU should be a bigger favorite. But uh, FIU's QB, Keon Jenkins, is questionable for this one. So I would wait. Wait until Wednesday to put this bet in. If he's not playing, probably stay away. Probably stay away. I, th I still like my chances with FIU. But Keon Jenkins, is uh, he's a dual-threat quarterback. He's solid as hell. Um, he's very important for this team. So let's let's just make sure he's playing before we uh, lock this one in. But I do like FIU to get the win here. Uh, next game, moving on to the eyes, baby. We got the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Ottawa Senators. Give me the Hurricanes on the money line. Lay the juice. Don't overthink it. Uh, Carolina uh, Carolina is actually the favorite to win the Stanley Cup this year. Uh, you know, the and the a lot of people have high hopes for them. I was kind of surprised to see that they were the favorite, but I mean they they did have a productive offseason. They got uh, Michael Bunting which is a good piece, and really this team is just very solid defensively. Um, I see the Sen uh, Senators struggling to score. I think they get a, I think they get one goal this game. I'm guessing a 4-1 to type game. Um, the Senators, they're, they're a rebuilding team, you know. I don't think anyone has too much expectations for the Senators this season. So Carolina at home, first game of the season. They're winning that, guys. Come on. Next, Bruins versus Chicago. Uh, the Bruins versus Chicago Blackhawks. Guys, you know who I'm taking in this one. Come on. You know who I'm taking in this one. I'm going with the Blackhawks. I'm just joking. We're going with the Bruins, man. Look, we're laying the minus 300. I don't care. We're going to lay the minus 300. To start off, the Blackhawks are playing tonight while I'm recording this Tuesday. They're playing in Pittsburgh. After that game, they'll have to travel to Chicago right away. I, I expect some fatigue to play a factor. I know they got that new guy, which I'm, I'm excited to watch. Um, I, I always struggle to pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try. But, uh, yeah, man, that guy has a lot of hype around him. It should be interesting to see what he does in this game. But I feel like their focus is showing out for this first game in Pittsburgh. But then they have to turn around and play the Brewer, uh, the Bruins, who, I mean, they were the best regular season team of all time last year when it comes to points. Uh, Chicago was a 26-win team last year. Uh, you know, I, I don't pass up free wins, guys. On these three-leg parlays, man, I don't pass up free wins. And the Bruins are a free win. If, if the Bruins lose to the Blackhawks tomorrow, I will get wasabi. I will buy some wasabi and I'll snort it on camera. That's what I will do. Um, so, yeah, the Bruins better win now. I'm putting my, uh, I'm putting my heart, my health on the line for this. Um, so, yeah, that will do it, man. Let's recap this parlay. Game one, FIU versus UTEP. Give me FIU on the money line. Game two, Hurricanes versus Senators. Give me the Hurricanes on the money line. Game three, Bruins versus Blackhawks. Give me the Bruins on the money line. If you want the picks like the best picks like the most picks that I buy myself personally, go to pitdolls.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description. You'll find all my plays there. All righty, man. Hope everyone has a good week. Let's win this damn parlay today. Let's win the parlay tomorrow. Let's just get on a nice little streak, baby. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.